Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we have a very special guest. He's back this is really the last one. <laughs> two weeks in a rizzo. I, 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 the, the, the part for my car is supposed to be here shortly, so that I'm get the fuck out and go home. So it's Love been it. good. It's been real. It's been fun. It had, He's been cooking know. us all his be- best recipes. That's right. Eggs, eggs, and eggs. It's been good. <laughs> eggs, <laughs> eggs, eggs. Hey, yo, Hard boiled eggs, devil eggs, scrambled eggs, hey, raw yo, eggs. Let's crack into another one. All right, guys. Yo. I have a very interesting topic for you what today. I saw a sh- like, okay. So I don't have social media, but recently I do. I uh, I had to start one for a company. So it's it's got me on there. So now, like when I go on there to post stuff for the company and whatever, I see like things coming through, and you know, obviously part of the algorithm. I saw something pop up where there was this guy, and he was he was doing a podcast or something. He was talking to I think they were like porn stars. And he was like, I find it very interesting that women use the term small d energy to talk about men mm-hmm, when mm-hmm. it's something that a man has no control over and cannot control the size of their junk. He goes, how would you feel if we t- started talking about how women had wide p energy? Loose pussy energy. I'm I'm game for that. And and like, the girl like just didn't know what the fuck to say. Like she was just like, what? Because she thought saying that guys having small d energy was totally fine. All right. So I I'm on a lot of of. Sorry, are you done? Yeah, uh, yeah that was okay. it. That was my <laughs> so, 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 uh, I, I I am on. Is this over yet? I am on social media. And you know, social media algorithm will take you down any rabbit hole you want to go down, and and will will lead you down it. One of those rabbit holes that exists are like the men's, not men's rights, but kind of like pro red men pill. stuff. Red yeah, pill, red pill, red pill. Tate. Yeah, yeah like, all the red pill stuff, right? So like one one of those things shit. you'll see is like these, like they'll go out and interview women on the street, like on a Friday, like, hey, does height matter? And, and right, they're right, like, yeah, of course, height matters. Of course, that matters. And then they'll like pull out a scale and they'll say, cool, step on that scale. And uh, the, the women will be like, oh, forget you. That's terrible. I'm like, well, we can't control our height. You can control your weight. Oh, wow. Jesus. You know, it, like, yeah, yeah, it's like, it's so like the hardcore changes. red pill, pill stuff. I've seen some of that. And it's just like, not that I would ever do that, but it is a thing. Like there are, that is a hundred percent a thing. I don't know if I ever really agree with that. Like, like here, there is a such thing. As small here comes dick fifteen incher over here to tell us about her thoughts. There is a such thing as small dick energy. There is. There one hundred percent is, and you know if you have it. But is it tied to a small penis? Like, it's not. But it's okay. it's 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 a principle that is attached to a man who is acting like less than. If you have, what are you saying? Is a beta man? I'm just saying if you have a fragile male ego, if you can't take rejection, okay, if okay. you can't. If you can't understand why a girl doesn't like you, if you won't take accountability for the fact that why you can't get a female, yo, that's small dick energy, and you need to be held accountable for that. All right? Now, I'm not necessarily saying that you need to be to be beholden to the fact that a hock to a bitch telling you that you don't have, that you have a little dick or you have little dick energy because she is not the... The, uh, the the judge, jury, and executioner on that on that gradient, but there is a such thing as it, and we do need to hold men accountable for that because if we don't, there's going to be a little bunch of small dick energy. But men why is it small around. D energy and not something else? Why does the D have to matter? I don't know. We have to take it by a case by case basis. Well, Obviously, I, I, I some think, cases it's not going to be that. D, D, I, let me let me make sure I understand where you're coming from. Go so ahead. What you're saying is like small D energy is these dudes that like have big jacked up trucks or like compensating. You know? No, is that what you're saying? That's not what I'm saying. At oh, all. there's like people compensating that, for small that D. That is indicative. Of That's what that. I would thought based on what you just said. That's okay. What I no, heard. I'm saying is that that is indicative of that culture, but we have to take it by a case by case basis. What I'm insinuating is that those guys who are like the incel culture the red pill culture the ones who like fresh and fit the ones who listen to andrew tate that's some small dick energy because when it comes to it we can't hold people accountable for things in life we only have one thing that we can control in this universe and that is ourselves so we have to taper ourselves we have to fix ourselves to the point where we coincide with what we want as the future we can't hold other people to that to in like you can't blame anybody else for shit you gotta fix what's what's wrong with you 
because you can't you can't control anything else. Amen. I mean, you ain't wrong. Okay then. Because I, but I just I don't know. I think it was the whole thing is like it. I do think it's bullshit to be judging anybody by something they can't control, like their height or like their penis size, their height, size, their yeah. boob size, their like whatever. That's yeah. bullshit. I'll give you that. Yeah, like that's bullshit. Like that's, short I fight for short kings all the time. I'm six foot three and I swear to God I fight for short kings because right. that's bullshit. I'm five foot nine. I am, and I get on dating apps and shit, and they see these chicks like, if you're not six feet, don't even bother. I hate and like, that. That's that, the most that, insane It is. It's stupid. And like, and honestly, I wouldn't want that person anyways. Right. If like, you're going to put that on there, I'm like, yes, like, wait. That, you just filtered yourself. Thank yes. you. I'm like 5'11", and I'm still like, I'm like almost six foot. I'm like, nah, I'm good. No, nah, yeah. yeah. Burn those witches at the stake. Yeah, but but that I'm serious. But Burn that them that's where it, that's where it is really funny to me when they do go out and do like what I said. They interview like, oh, does height matter? Sure. Just oh, we'll step on the scale because weight matters too. And they're like, oh, you can't do that to me. I'm like, no, that's th like it's just exposing the double standard. They're not actually do they're just trying to expose the double standard by doing that, right? I agree. Like, yeah. Like like like, hey, you're judging all these dudes by this thing that they really cannot control. And here's something that you actually kind of can. I swear to the Bible right now that I have been on dating websites where I will tell a chick that I'm six three, and she was like, "Oh wow, that's really a nice height." And I'll be like, "Chick, what's what would be the difference if I was shorter?" Well, let me tell you. Or why would you discriminate? Uh, I swear, I'll bring the shit up, man. It's probably why I'm single now. But I bring the shit up. I bring it up because I fight for short kings. I don't see a problem with a guy being shorter. Like I hate that. Well, hate the average male is five eight, right? I mean, the, the average height in the United States, I think, is 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, it's right. It's right exactly what I... Is the average or the median? No, it's, it's the average. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is I mean, the average. That means half of men are shorter than woo. that. I mean, you know... Because you do the a rough lifestyle for y'all. It is. <laughs> well, no, it is. Oh, look at him. He's already he's already height-hating <laughs> no, over here. He, he's I the thing he's... Mr. I fight for short king. I have I'm a rough life for you. I'm identifying with your blight. Yeah, fuck <laughs> off. But... But I like on some of these dating sites. I one time did an experiment. I changed my height, yeah, to six one, yeah, and immediately started getting and didn't change anything else on my floor, my pro profile. Immediately started getting likes. All right, how much would you put on this to the fact of like there are gentlemen who would not date a I don't know a Jewish girl or a black girl or a Mexican person or a woman who wouldn't date a bald person or a woman who wouldn't date you know outside of her her race or something like that it when it comes down to it is it preference or is it a level of discrimination it's both what do you mean I think both? It can't it, be no, it fucking can be, both, man. It, it's both. I can't like lasagna and then I'd be discriminative against fucking penne. When do we start talking about lasagna? I'm just no, saying. It's like, you're talking about... Is <laughs> if it, it's preference, is it's it, preference. It can be... Look, there's preference. There's preference. Okay. And there's, and, there's, and there's also this just... What, like... All right, so if, if you're a woman and you're 5'11". Yeah. And maybe... And your preference is that I'd like to have somebody taller than me. Okay, fine. You know, and uh, but if you're five three, and you're running, you gotta be six feet tall. I'm like, what the hell is the point of that? Like, this dude's like a foot taller so, than you. But let, but let me ask you this: like, I mean, I think there is preference, right? So if, but if somebody said, I don't date fill in the blank race women, are they racist because of that? Or is it preference? Or is it preference? I mean, if they're like, I don't date this race women because they're insert, insert racial slur here, that's a problem. But well, like, but if you're just like, I don't really, I've, I've dated numerous blank chicks. I don't like that experience. I don't like the culture. Here's the thing. I have preferences, so I have to answer that it's preference. <laughs> then we, then that's, that's where the case is. Like and, 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 then, and that kind of shoots a hole in what I was because saying you're earlier. Not, you're not <laughs> saying I'm not dating them because you don't like that race. So yeah. I think women should have some access to that preference. Now, with that same ideal and manner, I do not, I feel like it is my responsibility as a male who fights for male to fight for change in that culture of preference. The same way I feel like there needs to be fight and culture of preference and even Americans idea of what is ide the ideal beauty. Yeah. Because there is some, you know, some like some truncation going on there. It's truncated to like one 
perceived ideal of beauty. And yeah, that, that is that is one hundred percent true. And that that's not that's not what America is about. That's not what we're about. Beauty can come in many different forms. So I do fi- like I said, I will continue to this day, even though I am six fucking three. I will continue to this day to fight for my short kings. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I will hold bitches accountable. I don't know if I like being called a short king. I don't know. I don't know. Five nine is not a short king. I don't think I'm not sure. He's looking right at me. I'm not looking at. I'm just looking. I'm staring into the soul of your being. Sure is. And calling you. I feel. I feel looked down upon. I'm gonna be honest. No, no. And it's not because he's standing next to you. He kind of is. Yeah. Well, that is why. There are good guys out there who might not meet your necessarily height requirements, and you and and we need to get over that. It's the same thing about like. I mean, but the same thing goes for like. Overweight guys, overweight women. Yep. People won't look their way, but they're they can be some of the best people in the world. Like yep. the same thing. Like just because you're five seven doesn't mean five four doesn't mean you're a shit person. You can be the you can be the perfect match for that girl, but you're you're not six foot and she misses out on you. Nah, if you fat, just lose some weight, fam. Wow, oh, man. Wow. Yeah, that's nope. a hot take. Yo. On that note, the TNT put it in the with his no fat chick shirt. <laughs> the crazy town.com is the place to go. The comments is where you leave the comments for Jonas. TNT and Mr. X for, for the real, last time. for real, for real, for real. He's really out now. I'm His out. Parts good. The couch is burnt. There's stains. Get out. Mr. X. I'm yeah. out. Oh, no.